Within PlaneSwift, you have the ability to add grid lines within an area takeoff, which allows you to calculate items such as rebar within a slab or linear footage of grout in a tile floor. To add a grid takeoff, click on the Area drop-down button at the top of the screen and select Grid Tool from the menu. This opens the Grid Tool Properties window. As always, you must first enter a name for your item. If you'd like PlanSwift to generate the grid automatically, leave the Automatically Generate checkbox selected. This option is already selected by default. If you deselect it, PlanSwift will not generate the grid or grid values with the takeoff. This might be useful if the dimensions are likely to change and you want to wait before generating the grid information. That said, you'll still be able to edit the grid dimensions after the item has been created, even if you select the Automatically Generate checkbox. After you've set your color and fill type, you have two options for setting the angle of your grid. The first way is to type in a number corresponding to the number of degrees of the angle. For example, 0 would be a grid that is vertical, whereas a grid at 90 would be horizontal. You can also enter any number in between. In our example, let's enter 45. Note that this value is ignored if you choose the second option, which is the Select Parallel Side checkbox. If you choose this option, you'll draw a line on the screen after you draw your area, and the grid will be drawn parallel to the line. We'll demonstrate this later. Next, set the vertical and horizontal spacing of your grid. These numbers should be entered in inches. Then, click on Select Start Point if you want to be prompted to click where you want the starting point to begin. This essentially lets you define where the grid intersects, rather than just the grid angle, so that your grid can align with the drawing. Finally, you can click on Count Intersections if you want to know the number of times the horizontal and vertical lines of your grid intersect. This can be useful for counting rebar chairs in some instances. Click OK to create the item. Now, draw an area in the manner you normally would. When you press Escape to finalize the takeoff, you now see grid information on the left. Depending on your selections, you'll see total square footage of the area, linear feet of the grid, and the number of grid intersections. Let's look at another example where we use the second option to set our grid angle. Let's go to the Grid Tool option again. You'll name your item and set up your color and fill type options the same as before. In this case, however, you'll ignore the angle field. Instead, select the Select Parallel Side checkbox. Now, enter your vertical and horizontal spacing, and then press OK. Now draw your takeoff. After you've finished your shape and press Escape, you have another prompt on screen telling you to select the first point of your parallel line. Click on the screen, and then draw your line out, and click the ending point of the line. Once you've done so, the grid is generated at the angle indicated by the line you just drew. Note that you can also clear the grid from the area. If you click on your takeoff area in between the grid lines, you'll see the options for Draw Grid and Clear Grid display at the top of the window. If a grid already exists, you can select Clear Grid to remove it. You can then double-click the item in the Pages and Bookmarks panel to the left to reopen its properties and change the grid dimensions if needed. Once you've made the changes, you can then click on the area of the drawing again, and then select the Draw Grid button at the top of the window to make the grid reappear with the changes you made. Note that if you make certain changes from the initial setup of the item, they may not be reflected in the Pages and Bookmarks panel on the left side of the screen. For example, if I initially choose not to count intersection points, but later go back into the item and select that checkbox, I still won't see the intersection information on the left. However, that intersection information would be accessible in the Estimating tab. Before you build, construct connect.